So I hope you've all got your pencils, pens, paints to hand. But before we start writing out words, I wanted to take a moment to talk about calligrams. What is a calligram? You're all probably familiar with them, but might not know the, the technical term. But a calligram is a word or piece of text in which the design or the layout of the letters creates a visual image. And that image relates to the meaning of the words themselves. So at its most simple, it's something like this. Circular, written out as a circle. Again, going round and round. And I think you'll find once you start playing with this idea, it's very freeing and quite relaxing. And you can explore letter shapes, the words themselves. So here, a flower blooming, blossom blooming, that kind of ignition of the, the, the flower itself. But you actually start to contemplate the language. So a spiral, repeating a phrase again and again, repeating it in different colours, pencils and pens. It doesn't matter whether your writing is good or bad. That's the joy of a calligram is that it, it, it doesn't matter. The pattern and the shapes take over and the text is hidden within. You could show, sure, you can make it more obvious or not, but it can sometimes just allow you to contemplate the words you're writing. So here's something um, that was a prayer and words from a religious song and put together in memory of a, of a dear, dear friend. And then something else where you really start to play, for instance, this was a poem that was very popular last year when it came out in all the first horror of lockdown that said that we are all in the same storm, but not in the same boat. And this just really resonated with me. And I wrote it and obviously it's obvious there's a boat, but following the different lines, following the different curves, writing it out again and again in different layers, multi-layered, you really, you really connect with the words that are being spoken or read. Here are the templates that you received and you can see they're wonderful caped mothers, all the mothers. And I'm just going to show how even with something like this, you could take a word and play. So the word that was used a lot and that resonated for me in Persephone was hope. So we could write hope out a lot, repeating it again and again. You start to see funny shapes in the letters that you're feeling it as you write it. Hope, hope actually bringing the words into each other. Again, filling that space. And this is just writing one word, but imagine when you've got a text where you're considering every word that's there. And I'm doing this quite quickly just to show you how it, it isn't about worrying too much just write and fill her dress full of hope. Or, okay, let's do something different. Let's um, write it in different sizes. So again, one word, because I think it's quite interesting to just play. Okay, hope, well, maybe I want a different hope. Maybe something that's filling the space differently and then you can have some little hopes more hopes <laughs> hoping hoping full of hope <laughs> so I'm just doing it to show how you can have fun or, or take a paintbrush and fill fill this one down here fill it full of And again, we have the hands 
What could we write in the hands? And we gave you um, some words um, from Ayala, Ayala Gill, uh, another dear friend. And she's written, mothering is the very state we are being called to inhabit. So mothering is, is the very state we are being called. And see, I made a mistake, but it doesn't matter. You just keep going. And because I'm repeating it, again, regardless of gender, off gender, but the brilliant thing is you don't notice that when it's all there, giving love. I think you've got the idea that you just write and fill and fill until you've got words filling all these lovely images. You've got a spiral, follow the spiral, follow the snail trail, see where it'll take you. But choose words that mean something to you and then play with how you would like to express those words. So you can see closer what I was doing, writing out the words again and again, the same word, but creating a pattern. It's almost like she's now got a pleated dress. Hope, hope, hoping, different ways of expressing and writing and filling up these sheets of paper, repeating, or just writing out a phrase that means something to you, filling the space and having fun. <laughs>